Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be an Aquarius weekly money and career reading from April 29th to May 5th, 2024. Aquarius, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Aquarius weekly money and career, April 29th to May 5th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you're all well. Be on the lookout on the Here Out for the magic word. There are a few more, a couple more days to put the magic word down below in the comment section if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. I will announce uh, one name uh, uh, in the last live, uh, Sunday in a live, sorry. Uh, uh, this Sunday. So you have a couple more days to put uh, the magic word down below if you're interested in potentially getting a free reading. Also, if you um, uh, wish to become an active member of this channel, I know it's not for everyone, but for anyone that's interested, uh, that automatically gives you access to uh, free readings. Uh, one free question during lives. I do lives every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, but I also also open up lives once in a while during the week um, and I open uh, questions. Uh, I open sessions. So if that's something you're interested in, all you have to do is click the join button next to the Card Minds logo and it'll take you wherever you wish to go. All right, let's get started. Aquarius, look at that right off the bat the sun there's your card happiness contentment balance and abundance sort of a warmer energy twirling around you uh let's see where this is going oh well there's why there's an offer or there's finances coming in money coming in an offer a business opportunity a job offer or an offer to join a team or maybe yeah, money coming in regarding a project and the two of cups are you partnering up with someone i'm i am sensing that these are um two different energies I am sensing there's finances coming in and there's also a person there that you might, let, let's pull cards and see where this is going. But there's a true connection here with someone, a friend, a family member, a person, maybe a romantic relationship, not quite sure. There's an Aries Leo Sag here, uh, someone you might be working with my and ace of swords so you're redirecting you're thinking differently you're finding clarity on something and you're really thinking differently maybe there was a choice to be made right it feels like wow it, it's a beautiful energy look at this wow so it feels like there are people around you and it feels like you're just in a good space in a good energy space, happy, abundant, um, okay with your choices, okay with who you are, you feel comfortable with where you stand. Um, and, and this is taking you on a new adventure, on a new energy. And this is something clearly with the magician that either you have been waiting for or or it's time to do this, right? So maybe it's time to connect with that person. Or maybe it's time to move forward on that idea because you have clarity now. You're moving into a new direction. It feels new. With the Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords, you have clarity. It is a new idea. You have the finances coming in or you have a new offer on a job or new offer on an opportunity, whatever it is right? It will be different for everyone. But because you have the magician, it feels like you, um, it's, it's almost like it's not the moment you were waiting for. It's time to do it. There we go. It's time to make this happen. You're inspired. There's a spark there, right? That's making you, um, ready to, go forward on something. 
and this inspiration is coming back. So it's an idea, a project, a job, a business, whatever it is, you are now moving forward because I feel like you've worked a lot or you have gathered everything you have needed and you can do this. It's, it's really time to make it happen. So if you want to start your business, it's time. If you want to explore that new path, it's time. If you want to explore this partnership or see where this is going to go with this person, it's time. You have the King of Cups and the King of Wands here, which tells me that this is emotional and at the same time, um, you're empowered to build something, to start something, to develop an idea, to participate in a project or to be part of a business or part of something. And so I feel like you're comfortable in choosing this. You're comfortable with who you are now, but there is another person can be, um, a fire sign or it can be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or Aries, Leo, Sag with whom you're connecting with, or at least there's someone there with signification, right? That's a sort of a soul person, your, your soul person you can find to, you talk to, that helps you, that guides you or that inspires you, right? It can be a partner, it can be a life partner, but doesn't have to be. And it feels like sometimes you're uncertain still a little bit, right? You're comfortable. You're becoming really comfortable with your choice, with who you are, right? But you have the moon. So you don't have all the facts yet, or you don't have all the information yet, or you're still confused or still indecisive. But with these two aces and the sun and the magician, I mean, it's really worth pushing forward because it's a strong, positive energy, uh, warm energy to connect with the right people, to be in the right space, to be inspired and balanced and happy. It's really exciting for you. You're feeling uh, a sense of comfort. Yeah, and there's more, there's your offer. There's your offer and confirmation that it's either finances coming in or you have the magician and the mini magician with the page of pentacles, right? Um, manifesting or, or just receiving time to receive Aquarius time to receive. So you're still confused. You still don't have all the answers regarding that person, regarding that decision or that soul connection. You're still confused about that person or that conversation or whatever, whatever it is you're trying to find that clarity on, but you have all new beginnings, all new fresh positive energies going forward on this new decision that is going to bring you a sort of financial comfort, financial independence. Yeah, you're dragging your feet a little bit. You're like, it's too good to be true, or this is amazing, but, or... I'm still waiting for some answers or they didn't still didn't get back to me on something, right? Like you're moving forward and you understand that's empowering and exciting, yet you're not you're not going to be fast-paced on this. You you want to be clear. You want to make sure the the path is clear and there's a true understanding with that person. Maybe you don't trust them completely. Maybe it's someone you didn't trust in the past, or maybe you're not quite sure on their background, their knowledge, or whatever. Yes, there we go. There we go. It's it, There is that person, that vibration, that energy that you're not quite sure. So it is really making you uh, take, a, take the slow route, make sure you have all the information, Make sure you trust all the people around you as you move forward on these whole new opportunities or these opportunities that are now putting you in that comfort zone that you can start this new path, that you can start this new career, this new job, this new business, this new project that you have been wanting. At least you've gathered all the information or the knowledge, the tools, um, the logistics to make it happen. Like you're ready, you're ready to do that. And I feel like you were in the starting blocks until you met this person that's 
putting a little doubt and fear, not fear, but doubt in your mind, a little confusion in your mind. So maybe this is a person you want to, you wanted to partner up with, right? Or maybe this is a person you're meeting that is inspiring you or that inspired you and great conversations and sort of leading to potentially starting new projects together or starting a partnership together or working on something in common, something like that right? Or maybe someone that even wants to offer you a job or offer you an opportunity. But you are on the fence with this because you don't completely trust them. All right, well, let's pull some cards on this Seven of Swords because that's, that's why the confusion remains or the indecisiveness because you don't have all the facts and it's not clear. It's blurry with this person. So did they, did they promise too much? Is it too good to be true or what? Well, <laughs> there we go. So it's in the past. You're letting it go. You're letting it go. So it's almost like within this whirlwind of new energies to push forward in your career and all kinds of projects, whatever it is that you're trying to make happen, there is this person here. Looks like potentially it was or is still a potential relationship or someone you really liked or someone you really are, are into or that you just met or that you met even a while ago. It seems like that you're understanding that it's going to be in the past. You no longer want to connect with this person and now you're focusing focusing on your career. Let's see what this moon is all about. You have the death card. So that is, it just means that you want that person or that connection or that energy with that person to be in the past, to let go. You're letting that go. It's almost like you don't want this person to rain on your parade or to block you for to move forward in your career moves, right? To be ambitious. You don't want that person to be in your way or their energies, right? And, and, and is this a relationship? It can be. Is this someone around you, a friend, a family member, a coworker, or a relationship? It is possible, and you want to put that behind. Interesting. All right, let, one more. Okay. Beautiful. You're growing. New ideas. Again, this Seven of um, Swords, I'm going to put it here. But you're growing, and you're getting out of that. So it's almost like you're getting out of that partnership, or you're getting out of that dynamic that you thought, maybe you think, or you thought that this person was the one that was going to be the end all be all, like be your partner in life, be your partner in your career, combine both, help each other out, progress in your careers, uh, whatever, right? Something like that. And I feel like you, something put a damper on that where you are realizing that something's confusing, something's not clear in the dynamic anymore and you're waiting for answers or wanting to know what's going on and I feel like at one point you're done done like thank you very much we had a great time or we thought that this was going to work out or we thought we were going to be able to develop you know also projects ideas we were on the same wavelength it was cool while it while it happened but right now I feel like you're sort of, your energies are blocking me in my decision, my career decisions. So you have a new idea. It is an innovative idea. You have new people coming in. Um, and here you have the um, Empress. And that, so that is really owning your energies, owning your creativity, your empathy, your understanding, and really surrounding yourself in a beautiful space with like-minded people so you can grow. So this can be your business you're growing. This can be your artistic talent that you're putting out there and being with um, um, communities or places or people that value your talent and that are going to allow you to grow. And then you have the world card, bringing it all together. 
Wow. So yes, I feel like once you leave that vibration behind or that dynamic with that person or these or those emotions, and those those emotions can be really um, one person back in the day. It doesn't have to be recent, but that are circling, still circling around in your mind, right? And this is you really um, putting an end on that and really focusing on something completely different and sort of pulling it all together, right? Uh, looking forward, looking outward, um, observing things from a higher perspective for what they are, right? And growing outwards. And you're, it's almost like you're going from student to teacher and you're realizing that that person or that entity was or is not serving you. And now you have a much wider perspective of success, maybe traveling, maybe working internationally. You're, you're sort of right bringing it all together, cleaning house and bringing it all together. And it makes sense to you now with the world. It makes sense to you. And you can now move into success because you're detaching yourself from those unhealthy ideas, emotions, people, you know, thinking that you should do things a certain way or thinking that you're not at the right space, that you're not ambitious enough or you, you shouldn't have made that decision, whatever, right? Whatever that is, you're really moving forward on your own path, on your own decisions beautiful beautiful energies growing forward i like that i like this um, empress here and i like the world really bringing it together but also you know understanding who you are now right it's sort of opening yourself up to the world in a new world with new people in another sector you know abroad or with a whole nother community or maybe yeah maybe you are opening up to international maybe you are working with people international it doesn't have to be but you're certainly opening up to to something that is um different and allowing yourself to expand expand your life your knowledge your path right and here it's about a creative spirit, a real favorable period for projects, ideas, creative projects, very, very, um, very positive, positive energies here. But it's also you understanding now where you stand, how you can communicate with others, how you can open yourself up to others other ways of thinking, other ideas. That's what the Empress is all about. She's about growing, but she's also about understanding to surround oneself with the people we love or that love us, that trust us and that guide us and that help us. You don't want to surround yourself with the negative people or people don't or people don't understand you or the people that are going to empower negative energies, right? This is, this is something coming together that you've worked really hard at with the magician, the empress, right? You were waiting for answers on this person, or maybe you thought this person was going to share the road, share your road with you for a little while, right? And now you're understanding that maybe they are a little bit too, negative or not bringing the the might vibe the right vibe the right vibe sorry so now take a moment to reflect on everything you've done and everything that's surrounding you and and offer gratitude for everything that you've created up to now so you can continue to build on that and build on your energies on your creative energies and and just create even more in your life so allow yourself this time and space to enter that different frame of mind uh, with different people and ground your energies, right, for your well-being. It's, it's a beautiful sense of awareness and a beautiful sense of, yeah, awareness, awakening, right? Understanding that now you know who will be part of your next journey. Too many cards. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Aquarius. Weekly. Money and career. I 
I was going to say we should have the judgment somewhere. As I said, awakening, there we are. Understanding this is a crossroads, a big decision, but also you're opening up to the world and people are seeing you now with the judgment. It's a change of destiny, a change of vocation, a change of the change of guards, change of guards. Yeah, probably going into something with new friends and new connections and, and new energies with this page of cups, an offer there. Page of pentacles and page of cups. So it's all new. These are new people coming in. This is a new offer, it can be job offer. It feels very creative. It doesn't have to be. It will be different for each and every one, but it feels very creative between the Empress and the Page of Cups. Um, it feels like these are new people you are inspired, that are inspiring you or you are inspiring them to, like you want to be part of that or they want to be part of your idea, right? This is success, but your own way, right? Not with this person blocking your son. This is success, but your own way and rising up to what makes sense to you. Something more important, something more, um, um, more in sync with who you are today. Beautiful reading, Aquarius. Beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for sharing your journeys, for connecting with these readings. Let me know where you stand. Let me know what this is all about, Aquarius. Um, comment down below. Um, uh, thank you, really thank you to each and every one for supporting this channel. That is how I push forward in my readings. Um, I want to say that the magic word is mm, my way, <laughs> my way. That's what's coming to mind. So if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put my way down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name uh, from anybody that is subscribed that has put the word down below. Uh, just a couple more days uh, before I announce um, uh, the name of the free reading. So if you're interested, now's the time and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching. Gratitude to all, to each and every one from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Aquarius. Take care. Bye-bye.